Now that we have all the hydraulic connections done to our Secasol tank, we want to install the controller. One of the big advantages to Secasol is the controller comes substantially pre-wired. If we look more closely at the controller, we can see that there's a set of pump connections already made. There's an AC connection. All you need to do is cut the wire to length and put a plug on the end of it. And then there are sensor connections. S1 connects to our line set, which goes to the roof sensor. S2 connects to the bottom of our tank for a sensor. And then S3 gives us the provision to add a sensor to the top of our tank. One of the few connections we actually have to make is connecting S1 from the controller to the sensors on the roof. So we have a pair of wires that come down from the roof in the line set. All we have to do is connect them to these quick disconnects. And that's complete. The next step is to install the sensors that measure temperatures on the tank. S2 on the controller is connected to the sensor that goes to the bottom of the tank. So we're going to take this sensor, connect it to S2, we're going to slip it up under this bracket at the bottom of the tank and tighten it down. Now if we want a sensor on the top of the tank, we can connect it to S3 on the controller and it fits right into the top of this bracket. With the hydraulic and the controller connections complete, now we're going to put on this insulated jacket. So I'm going to snug my side tightly up against the pipes. We're going to bring the second side in and it just clips together. That's the top. And we're going to clip the bottom together. And that will keep your solar tank cozy and warm. With the cover installed, we can now hang the controller. We've made a little knockout in the cover for the controller wires. So that hangs over the side of the insulation blanket. We add some insulation to the top of the tank, and we add the cover. 